What a weird moment. Oh, see, I do. I can see me now. Perfect. Hopefully, this is after I murdered all those things, because those were tough. It's a pretty game, though. I think I'm just going to name this video the, like, 0.5. Maybe I can edit them together. I don't know how to do that. All right. Oh, well, I missed some Adreno there anyway, so... But I've seemed to have searched all these. Perfect. So this didn't kick me back, like, a whole ton. It just kicked me back, like... Enough. All right, cool. Let's go kill us some Marauders. Because we were just doing that. We did that. Maybe I just won't even do this, uh... see if we can actually sneak up on these guys. even know what hit him. Where are your friends? Huh? I don't know why that's so much fun, but it really is. So, uh, yeah, back to town. A little bit odd. I'll, uh, I guess we will, um, I don't know how I'm going to do that with video editing. Might as well just post both videos and see where it goes from there. Whoa, hey. We're running around in a marauder's attire. You're liable to give some people the wrong idea. Just yeah, passing not my you a problem. fair warning is all. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. In their low, low prices. Well, it's uh, nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreal Island. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. 
You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Well, uh, who do I talk to about a power regulator around these Definitely parts? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, Thanks. you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Depends on the work. You offer Edgewater me a job. is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. <laughs> paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. So you want me to collect what's owed to you? Four I workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Well, where can I find these Conrad's people? got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Well, I'll be back. Nothing like work. Ah, to Spacer Search Junior and Humaner Emerald Veil Division, a special offer. Dear reader, your subscription to the Inhumaners Association newsletter has expired. We'd like to invite you to renew your subscription. Act now, and we'll throw in a copy of our newest publication, Shovels Gazette, and Quarterly. Huh. Barrel success in your in grave site. <laughs> Advanced defensive helmet. Huh. Well, of course I'm going to steal things. I don't know these people. And I don't have the ability to hack into that. <laughs> I'm going to take some pet pills. All right. Well, this should save me as I walk in town. Oh, I don't have much time left. But I will be back on tomorrow. Out in the outer worlds. I have my work clothes on. That's hopefully not a big deal. Huh. All right. Let's not just point guns and pretend to not like that. Here's our barber shop. Conrad. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Please don't touch anything. 
Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. No, I can show you my thank hands. You. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body try parts to catch in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Huh. Well, Silas uh, sent me to collect your ah, dues. Speak gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. So you mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Well, you were kind of a dick when I came in, so I don't care. With pay what? My own blood? Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Well, just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Hmm. Well, I'll let you know if I can think of anything. Much obliged. He's right there, so we're not gonna just steal stuff in front of him. What can I do for you? Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? <laughs> Only if you use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. Wow, 58%. That's pretty good. Well, I know about Eugene. Why don't you just use his teeth for collateral for your gravesite? You needs? know about Eugene? How? I mean, I did just walk in there. And I found the note from Phyllis. Then, when you I did know that. Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of <laughs> poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. Well, I'm sure he won't miss That's them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's <laughs> choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? You're gonna have to, man. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. All right, man. Later. Well, that was easy. I just literally was like, oh, what's in here? He watched me walk in here. Guess I won't take your stuff. You worked with me. All right. One down. Heard something outside the walls today. Let me see if I can uh, put something on when it comes to armor. Maybe these people won't help, hate me as much. I think I still have this Marauder outfit, though. Nothing for us outside those walls. You ought to know that. 
Spacious Course Cantina, and it looks like it's 1018. So, I'm going to have to get off of this, and uh, we'll go from there. Go ahead and save the game. Over this manual save. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.